Everything or Nothing. Brought to you by Steamline Linen Services. Shika, yes? the beauty queen, the queen of beauticians of the. Well, anyway, never mind. <laughs> With which boy band did Justin Timberlake begin his musical career? A. Backstreet Boys. B. NSYNC. Or C. Busted. Justin Timberlake. You know who he is. I know who he is, but God, I thought he was always so low. Okay. We'll go for B. You can go for B. NSYNC. Yep. Have you, have you heard his, his music? Yes. Okay. But I don't know. Yeah, you, you don't know that he, he was part of a band or anything? I didn't know, no. Okay. Well, you're right. Ah! <laughs> ah. Shika, you're four. This time I'm going to go for higher. You're going for higher? <laughs> yep. Is, is some kind of disease, like some kind of virus catching on or something? I'm just going to go for higher. You go for higher? Yes. Shika said, well, she's saying it's higher. And it. Ah! Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Hang on, what just happened? Shika, you lucky girl. I'm not lucky, I'm, <laughs> I'm just smart. Smart and lucky. <laughs> Officer Zahir, what is the name of Batman's butler? A. Charles Pandreth, B. Oliver Newton, or C. Alfred. Pennyworth. I'll go to C, please. Alfred Pennyworth. Well, it seems like you do know your movies. You're right. Okay. <clears throat> Zaki, your previous card was eight. Higher or lower? It's a difficult one. I'm in the middle, so it's yeah, a proper like... all or nothing. Um, I'll go for higher, please. Higher. And it nine. Yes. <laughs> It was a tough one. Well done. Thank you. Babs. I'm just going to ask you straight. Yeah? Yeah, sure. What is the capital of Sri Lanka? A. Colombo, B. Jaffna, or C. Gale? It's a complete guess on my part. I'm going to just say B, because I have no idea. Jaffna. <laughs> The capital of Sri Lanka, you said... Could you repeat it again, just one more time? You've got answers already, I'm sure. Oh, can I not change my you, you answer? You can't change it. Okay. The capital of Sri Lanka, you, mm -hmm. you said, mm -hmm. is Jaffna. Well, Babs, you're wrong. It's actually Colombo. Sorry, that's the first one. First so, one. Bad luck. <laughs> I like you. I honestly like you. you, you you're a daring person, you, you. Okay, <clears throat> now let's see. Manuel, traditionally, yes. how many wonders of the world are there? Traditionally, how many wonders of the world are there? A, six, B, seven, or C, eight? Six, Seven or eight? How many wonders of the world? Seven. Seven wonders of the world. Yep. And you're right. Look, am, am I going to ask you or shall I just... We, Again. Shall we just assume? Yes. Higher. <laughs> we have been stuck on 13. It's 1 to 15. <laughs> the probability is going to be lower. So if it's if higher, then my mark will add <laughs> equal. <laughs> you know? You're gonna go for higher. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's let's just hope it's higher. For God's sake and for sake of my life. Oh, higher! No. Oh dear Lord, that was close! So that was close. So close. I'm I so think, sorry. I think my other brother is doing some magic. <laughs> <laughs> He's not doing the right one. Uh, oh dear Lord. Oh dear Lord. Oh dear Lord. <laughs> Never but, mind. But I still like you. Yes. 
Shika. I'm here. Seems like you're getting all those pop stars questions for some reason. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> what is Eminem famous for? What is Eminem famous for? A. Dancing. B. Boxing. Or C. Rapping. 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 And you're right. Okay, your last card. Oh God. You get this right, Shika. You go on to round two. I might have to do a risk one. No, like. higher or lower? Oh God, that's a difficult one. Oh dear, I need help. I need some clues. <laughs> oh. Come on, come on, come on. We can't, we can't waste time here. Higher or lower, Shika? Higher. Higher? Yep. Shika said higher. And it's higher! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have our first round winner. Shika is going to the next round. <laughs> Shika, thank you very much. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Shika has gone through to the next round. And now we're going to go back to our contestants here. Um, I just hope um, the best person wins. Um, we got here. Um, computer technician Babs, we got Buzzy Girl, the, the, the <laughs> risk taker, the risk taker Manuel here, and Officer Zakir. So let's see who wins and who goes to the next round. You don't play chess? No. Have, I, mean, do you I mean, I used to play chess, but not. Do you watch sports? Yeah, I do. Uh, have you watched boxing? Yes, occasionally. Yeah? Okay, here it goes. Which part of Evander Holyfield's body did Mike Tyson? Bite during a boxing fight. A shoulder, B nose, or C ear? C ear, please. C ear. You've watched the match, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> because you're right. That was yeah. quite a dramatic, dramatic uh, boxing um, match that was. Okay. Like the thing is, you're on the last card. Yes. It's if you get it right, you're going to the next round. Higher or lower? I'm going to go for lower, please. You go for lower. Saki is going to go for lower, and it's lower! Yes! Saki, congratulations. Thank you very much. You've gone to the next round. Thank you. Now, <laughs> my note. Let's yeah. see. 13. Yes. Right, now, if I give you another opportunity to uh, guess the number. What would you say? Higher or lower? Higher. Still higher. Yeah. <laughs> Just for the sake of entertainment. <laughs> yeah, and for argument's sake. And for my peace of mind. Yeah. And let's <laughs> and for you for yourself. Yes. Let's see if it's higher or lower. <laughs> yeah, everybody? Yeah. Sure. And to the audience as well. Let's see if my lose <laughs> next card. Is it higher than 13? As we always sort of guessed and, and hoped. We all, I'm sure. Audience is always also prayed yes. for the card to be high. The amount of Thank time you. you had the opportunity to guess lower. The probability <laughs> was lower, but you kept on saying higher. Higher. Still, you're gonna say higher? 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I had the best time in my life <laughs> here. My brother. Thank you very much. Well done. Well done. Well, I, I respect your confidence. Yes. I respect your confidence. You, yes. You played well. Yeah. You played well. No matter what, you believed in yourself. You believed in your oh, answer. Yes. That's I what matters. Myself. Yeah. Win or lose doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But you played well. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much Thank for coming. Thank you very much. Babs, thank you so much for coming. Well done. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Shika and Zakir will be playing darts to score the highest score, which will determine who will go to the final round of Everything or Nothing. And let's see who actually lives with everything or goes home with nothing. <laughs> We had a very interesting, exciting first round. Now, round two, where the players will throw the darts and try to achieve higher score. First, I would like to call Shika. Shika, come. 
Do you play darts? No. Well, <laughs> today you have to you have to play darts and you have no. to try to, you have to try to get the highest score, I'm afraid. Oh, no. So here are the darts. And that's your dartboard. Try not to hit me. I'll try. Yeah. I don't know which way it's gonna go. Okay, here he goes. Yep, can you stand here? Yep. Two. Seven. And six. Well done. And Chica, you have scored 15. So I'll call you back on the second round of throwing darts. Please have a seat. Chica scored 15 on the darts board. Now let's see, can Zakir beat Chica's score? I'm sure you played darts before. I did. Long time ago. So let's see how much you remember throwing darts. Here's the board. Yep, you, you're fine. Yep, a little bit back. It's a bit too. Yeah, yeah on the mark. Yeah, that's good. Six. Seven. Nine. Six, seven, and nine. And the score is 22. Well done. Have a seat. I'll call you back again. Zakir has scored 22, Shika scored 15. Now let's see on the next round how well Shika does. Shika, come on up. Okay, you need to beat 22. In fact, try to get a higher score because after you, he's going to have another round. And if he beats, then he goes to the final. So try to score the highest. Aim for the bullseye, yeah? Oh, yeah. All right, let's see. Oh, nine. Okay. Four. Come on, Shika. Three. Shika scored 31 on her first round and second round put together. Zaki scored 22 on his first round. He only needs 10 to beat Shika's score to go to the finals. You only need 10. You only have three darts. So, you feeling lucky? A bit nervous. Well, let's see. Six. Seven. Congratulations. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Zakir has gone to the final rounds. So Zakir, how does it feel so far? Uh, it was quite nerve-wracking, uh, but you know, at the end, you know, I showed my class. <laughs> well, you've done well. You've done Thank well. you very much. Have a seat. Thank you. We are at the finals now with Zakir. Zakir, congratulations. Thank you. Welcome to the final round now. What happens is, with each guessing of the card, if you get it right, yeah. with every card, you win a prize. If you lose, you lose everything. Yep? Understood, yep. Right. Now, I will reveal the first card for you. Okay. Ten. Now, Zakir, think carefully. Higher or lower? Lower, please. Lower. Zakir said lower. If you get it right, you win a nice wall clock. You hang, it, you hang it on the wall, basically. If you don't, you don't win anything. <laughs> I think I have enough wall clocks. Let's see. I'm sure that you find some space somewhere. <laughs> and you said lower. <coughs> I did. You said lower, and it's... <laughs> oh dear! Zakir, do you know what it means? I'm out. I'm afraid it means you are the first contestant that will work out of this show with nothing. And it, I'm so sad, it's so regrettable that 
you've come all the way through to the finals. And on your first card, you have lost everything. So I'm really sad to say that you're going home with nothing. Thank you very much. But thank you very much for coming down and playing with us. You've no been problem. tremendously well contestant. You've competed very well. You got all the answers right. And unfortunately, on the last card, on the finals, you lost out. So no problem. at least it was a wall clock. <laughs> first prize was a wall clock. Second prize was electric kettle. And third prize was meal for four at a beautiful, nice restaurant where you could have taken your family and friends out. But never mind. This is a very emotional, very sad moment for me that one of my contestants has to go home with nothing. But the game is called everything or nothing. So because you guessed it wrong, so you're going home with nothing. It's sad to see one of my contestants is leaving this show empty-handed with nothing. And ladies and gentlemen, good night, good evening, and hope to see you all on the next show of Everything or Nothing. Everything or Nothing, brought to you by Steamline Linen Services.